Good morning everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In the last part we almost finished the Desert Palace, we are on our way to the boss. And in this part we are going to pour sand down and crush these two gargoyles. Very fiercely. Or not, because apparently they're fine with it. I was going to say, it better not be one that you require to be up there. Alright, we can unlock this boss door, but... There was no boss in this area. What's there? There isn't. But there are... A nice heal-up point right here. Go back in escape again, and the pots have restocked, giving you, if you want, four rupees really easily. Or, you know, letting you fill yourself back up to full to come up against this boss. Which, sand. You were told it was going to be a sandy area. This is the one thing that I would recommend actually upgrading your, um, Sandrod 4. The rest of the dungeon you saw we could do without too much trouble. You just want to walk up next to it and slice away until it stops letting you. Where are you going? You're going down there? Alright. If you hit the wrong button, and of course use your sand rod instead of slashing, uh, you will fall into the um, death pit, basically. And lose your sword beams, which is a very nice weapon to have for this fight. Alright, we gotta head all the way up here, and we're back able to fight against him. We've reached the halfway point, and he has opened up his head. He's gonna send a lot more attacks, and actually sand beam us. Um, forgot about the sand beam, remembered about the uh, extra attacks, and here's where the fight becomes a lot more difficult, because if you're not um, equipped, you don't have like unlimited bridge and that sort of thing. Between the two things, he's gonna kill you. Fortunately, this is why we picked up the three fairies. Um, because we have our three bottles, we might as well fill them all with fairies. It's not a full heal, but it puts us in a much better situation to go to. I just don't like that their main method is to knock you into this sand pit. And unless you're on the right one, it can take you quite some time to catch back up. And we die again. It's so close to being taken down, we still have two fairies, I think we'll be fine. Unfortunately, while he's in that sand beam, he's not going to be uh, friendly to us. He's already in red flashing, so we're in a good spot. Let's actually head the rest of the way up. If we could have upgraded our sword, because there is uh, two upgrades, I believe, for the sword that you can get at this point. Uh, we would be in a much better situation damage-wise. Look at that. Two strikes away from its death when we uh, just had to retreat a second ago. So, this sand that has been stored up there recedes, pours into this new area, gives us 
our heart container, as well as our sage. So we're going to run, we're going to pick up this heart container, full heal, and we are going to get this sage. And you can see right next to the uh, Osfala, so it's a good choice. Irene, how are you doing? You came to rescue me? Uh, I, I don't know what to say. But hey, my fortune came true after all. It's your sweet time getting here, though. Big trouble. And I gotta get back to my gram. That's alright, I forgive you. Just don't take that long to rescue me next time. And don't make any of the other sages wait that long either. Come on, get to saving the rest. And we escape, leaving these two stuck in that room for the rest of time. Because now we're officially able to go after the Malamai. But, what's this? Oh, lovely Zelda, what is it like to be a princess from a kingdom blessed by so many happy endings? Once upon a time, Low Rule was such a place, but no longer. Low Rule was just like Hyrule. So very beautiful, so very promising. We have need of a hero, and your Link is superb. We all deserve a happy ending, don't we? I can only hope that Link is victorious. But we are able to start collecting the Maya Mais now. You can see, in this case, it's, it's locked off to the areas you can only access in each area of Low Rule. So we are actually going to ring the bell, head back to Vacant House. Hey, Irene here. Did I scare ya? So, uh, thanks for helping me. And this whole thing about me being a sage? Some kind of special girl? Wow, big surprise. Wish I could leave where I am now, but I have to keep sending my broom. But I'll have to keep sending my broom. You know, really miss my gram. Can't wait to see her again. And yes, yeah, so she is still stuck in that room. But that gives us access to down here. Now then, because we have 1,792 um, rupees, we're going to go and purchase some stuff. I mean, not too, too much, but... Mr. Hero, welcome. Uh, no. Maybe this tip will hook you on the whole cookie. See the slider? Slide left and right. That shows you how many you can already quick equip. You only want items to use the most to show up for quick equip. Show it the slide to the far right, and then go up. Yep, it all made sense. So yeah, he was just explaining quick equip. Which I never use, so... Let's shift it all the way down to here. You can see I can shift between some of these. Showing up on the top screen. And there, now we have a bottle. It's not as useful as it looks. We're gonna buy the sand rod. I mean, we got plenty of money from it. So, we'll pick, we'll pick that up for sure. And we're gonna rent everything else. You can see a lot of the stuff is a buy at, uh, 800. With the exception of these two at the bottom. Interest in the ice rod. Rent 100, buy 1200. And finally, the fire rod. Rent 100, buy 1200. So we're going to need 2400 just for those two. Uh, we're collecting them all because we're going on our world tour right after this. So, might as well get them all. We're not in a big risk. Uh, we do have three fairies now, whenever we need to. I'll, actually, that's the next thing I'll show. I'll show you guys where that fairy point is that I refill at. And finally, we'll pick up the bow. And see, we couldn't have purchased any of them, or we... Well, with the exception of the sand rod, um, or we would have run out of rupees. So... If you want to just get some quick healing so you're good, you can go... This area is normally locked off with bomb. Like, you need a bombable... You need a bomb to take care of it. And now, you can just go in here and catch them. 
put it in a bottle, and repeat, depending on how many bottles you have. I'm going to leave one bottle empty right now, just in case we do come across a golden bee while we go. But, like, the main benefit, the reason we did all this, was to move big rocks. So, we've only seen big rocks in one spot so far. And that's just north of Kakariko Village. And there's a fortune teller also just north of Kakariko Village. He knows all, apparently. But yeah, we, we aren't doing anything else important for the rest of this um, episode because... Okay, there, this is it. And look, at you can see there's one hidden down here. Not what we're after, so I'm going to leave it and we'll show it off when we actually go out of our way for it. But until then, it's just another entrance into the Lost Woods. So, I mean, w really, you could avoid getting that one for a while. But we are going to explore the Lost Woods. Ooh. Look at that cave up there. Let's go after that. Because, you know, why not? Huh, we can't make the jump, so... Looks like we'll need our rented hookshot for it. Oh, we didn't go through it in time. What's this guy? Hey, I know you. You're that little Link, right? Saw that shooty chain thing you used to get here. Looks fun. It's a rumor guy. No one interesting, I suppose. Shame, lots of stuff I could tell you. Interesting stuff. Okay, what? Tell me. Gramps. Well, this one's a rumor I should solve with my own two peepers. Shouldn't say anything. Might get in trouble. Okay, well, he's 80 years old? Don't think he's just some old man. Uh, never go so soft. I'm gonna say handstands. Yes, handstands. Look at that, I called it. He's doing handstands, not in ordinary handstands, one finger handstands. Yeah, this guy's just for fun, it looks like. Now go spread the gossip yourself. I was hoping he was the one I was thinking of, but I guess not. There is one person in these woods that I do want to run into. It is unfortunate we did not go. Ah. Oh, we can get into this cave finally. So, in this cave, right north of, um,. Razo's house is a treasure chest, and in it is a single red rupee. But considering that you just need the hammer to get it, and you can get it at any time, not the worst thing in the world. But this is going to be where I'm going to call it for today, and we will start our hunt for the Mayamais next time, since I believe we can actually get all of them that are in this region, so like the entire low, sorry, Hyrule area we should be able to finish right now, with maybe one or two notable exceptions, but until we know for sure, this is where we're calling it. Thank you guys for uh, coming to watch this episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, and we start our world tour next time. There's a save point up here, isn't there? There is. All right. Have a good day.